know that ain't my damn kid. Look like that. Hey, 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 everybody. How you doing? How you doing? It's Coach Dom here, you know. Anybody got any questions about tonight's game? It was awesome. It was great. You know, my boy Brandon did his thing. Woo! Any questions? So, yeah, uh, now, Coach Dom, um, okay. we've, we've been wondering, uh, why why take Teddy Bridgewater out of the game after, you know, that four-game winning streak? I mean, his completion percentage has been over 60%. Uh, I mean, he really looked great those four weeks. Why take Teddy Bridgewater out of the game and some of him with Brandon, who, you know, who, who threw four interceptions and lost the game? Why make that decision? First of all, Teddy who? Teddy Bridge what? It's all about my guy Brandon. You've seen what he did, four interceptions. He's doing better than any quarterback nowadays. That's only his four interceptions the whole season. But this is his rookie season. How do you – and you, you sub him in for Teddy Bridgewater, who's, you know, right now carrying a record of 4-0. and So, I mean, does this game shake your confidence in him? Man, Teddy Bridgewater, he did his thing for a while, but it's time for a new quarterback to step up. My guy Brandon, what he does when he pregame, it gets him right. And then I count on him to do his thing. You know, there's been reports that have said that uh, Brandon didn't even show up uh, to uh, to practice. Because he was doing his spiritual thing. He, he, he worships a God that helps him play better. You heard of that God? And it failed God. That's the God of talent. And that's what I see in Brandon when he play these football games, right? Right? When you don't you see that in a rookie trying to become better? But don't I you got a lot of you know, I got a lot of hope in this guy. But don't you think he should actually show up to practice? Mm. If he wants to get better? Well, I don't think practice is needed for him. Maybe these other guys need to practice, but he's been practicing all his life on the bench. So now he's a quarterback that's able to shine. Why stop him now? He can live his life and play football. I can't. I can't find no one better. Teddy Bridge, who? Well, Coach, outside of the uh, quarterback play, okay. uh, that, that was a bit questionable. Um, we, we've all been uh, saying the quarterback okay. decision was a bit sudden and questionable. Outside of that, um, the offensive line did not block very well in this game. Um, it seemed that they're, uh, they got to the quarterback a lot. Uh, Brandon was under a lot of pressure the whole game. Um, I mean, do you feel that it would be better if the offensive line had showed up sober to the game instead of partying and uh, uh, tailgating like the fans uh, before the game started? The offensive line, they showed up and they showed out. The only thing that went wrong was that maybe they didn't have enough to drink. You know, they didn't have enough fluids in their body to continue their assault on that defensive line. You know, who, who's gonna stop us next game? Well, Coach, after, um, you know, you sub Brandon in and he threw okay. the, the four interceptions that were uh, not even close to receivers. I mean, they, they went right into the other team's hands, it seemed. Um, did you feel at any point that you were gonna pull Brandon from the game? And I didn't really back? feel I was gonna pull Brandon from the game. I feel like Brandon was getting a good feel for the other team. He just wanted everyone to f touch the ball, good ball rotation out there. I feel that like everybody got a chance to shine, even the opposite team. So really what you're saying is when he threw those four interceptions, he was just trying to get a feel for the other team. I believe he learned just from this here game that you got to share with everybody. Hey, question, coach, coach, question. Yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah. Um, do you think you're going to start Brandon again in the next game? Why wouldn't I? Brandon, he only had four interceptions, like I told you, this whole season. So why would I not start? <laughs> That's been a lot. Sorry, dog. Who brought a dog here? This is supposed to be my press conference. I hear dogs in the background. But look, Brandon's great, all right? He's great. He's better than that dog. He's better than anybody. He's going to be the next top quarter. I, I see a, uh, uh, Eli Manny, a Tom Brady in him. What do you guys see? What, what, what do you not see? Talk well, we, we saw that you guys uh, were kind of pass-heavy in the offense this week. Uh, did you ever think that maybe you were going to go back to the run game when the, the pass was struggling? 
run. We did run. Brandon ran. He ran the ball. That's running to me. What what else would running be if you have a quarterback that can run, throw, and get interceptions and still learn from the game? You know what I mean? It makes a lot of sense. Uh, well, the, the fans were, were asking because uh, th there was a lot of uh, questionable calls made in this game. Okay. Um, you know, one of them being the uh, eighty-two yard uh, field goal try uh, that you guys did. I mean, what what was going through your head when the uh, you know when you went for that kick at eighty-two yards out? Um, just do it. You know, just like the Nike say, just do it. You know, you got to do or don't do. You don't make it. You don't make it. It's, you know, it's all part of NFL. You know, you try hard. You, you know, when, when, you, when you're dehydrated, you drink Gatorade. And when you call when your team makes the kick 82-yard field goal, they do it. Even though we didn't make it, but we did it. And I believe next time we will. You think next time we're going to wait until the fourth down instead of the second down to kick that field goal? Hmm. Well, only reason I believe the second down was a great, great opportunity to kick because they were caught off guard these guys didn't know what was happening they didn't expect it and when we did that you know field goal there they just you know they was lost they didn't know what was happening and if we would have made it it would have made a big difference in this game but you were still down by uh, more than 20 points at that point in the game but it would have brought confidence back that we needed to finish the game off I know Brandon, and I know one thing about Brandon is all you got to do is show him that you're there for him. He's going to show up. And that's facts. Is Talk that, to me. Is that why you let him kick the ball? Well, he said that he would be great, you know, as all positions. You know what I mean? I, I, I like him as the running back. I like him as the quarterback. I like him as the kicker. I believe he did everything he needed to do to, you know, be a better quarterback. If you don't kick the ball sometimes, you're not going to know how to run fast enough. Right? Exactly. Next question. Well, uh, it's kind of related to the uh, the last question that was uh, that was uh, stated, uh, Dom. Um, you know, because, Coach, you, you kind of use Brandon as a punter. And, you know, he, he never really got the practice as a punter. Why, why use him to punt instead of your punter for the game? Well, you know, Brandon, he, he deals with a lot of obstacles in his life. And I feel like sometimes you got to throw him in front of him and either you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. You know what I mean? You got to be better than what you are than what you think you are. You know what I mean? So, hey, if you're going to kick that ball, kick it. And I got faith that he's going to kick it as far as it needs to go. And that's what he did. It just didn't do well, I thought it would, but because he's a rookie, he's still learning, he's still gathering experience, and he's doing what I need him to do now that I would prefer to watch over the next few games. I'm going to show, you know, the rest of the fans, and I'm going to show the rest of, you know, all these people and any, anybody that got anything to say about what's going on in these NFL games, you know, come talk to me. So what do you have to say to Teddy Bridgewater, who made the comment that he should be starting next week? Teddy, try again next week. You know, I, I, I got faith in you a couple weeks from now, but that's just to possibly kick the ball. You know, he could be a, a assist. You know, he could assist Brandon, but he's not a brand, you know? So, uh, you know, I hope that, you know, everybody knows that without Brandon, we won't see a playoff. So I hope Teddy Bridge will bridge well to know that too. <laughs>